I to just make a difference, uh, whatever kind of way I could. A JSO officer is being credited for saving a teen's life who was shot at the art walk. We first showed you the surveillance video last month that police say shows a victim in an alleyway shortly after that shooting. Action News Jack's Caitlin Channa shows the special technique the officer used and how it's being taught to save lives in emergency situations. No one ever plans to be a victim, but if you witness a tragedy, you may be the only person that's able to save someone that's seriously injured. Severe bleeding can lead to death in fewer than 10 minutes. This can save that patient's life before a medical professional can arrive. Dr. Andrew Fritzy says teaching people the basics of how to use a tourniquet can be life saving. Placing it two to three inches above or closer to the torso from the area of injury, taking the Velcro, cinching the Velcro down to keep it in place. Seconds count when someone's bleeding out. JSO trains their officers how to use tourniquets. And for his service to the community and his heroic actions that night on January 4th. Thank you, Officer Hightower. Thank you. In January, JSO Officer Terrence Hightower used the skills taught in these classes to save a victim shot at Jacksonville's downtown art walk. It's going to be really hard to try to compress a calf when you have a hole on both sides and blood's coming out. Um, so the other thing was to use a tourniquet to try to cut off that blood supply going to that wound. No medical background is needed. Anyone can take this course to give someone a second chance at life. If it's a deep wound that is open and you can't see exactly where it's bleeding, you can take the gauze and just keep pushing down into and holding pressure on top of it. Doctors say in an emergency, bleeding is the most important trauma you need to pay attention to. Reporting in UF Health Jax, Caitlin Chiana, CBS 47, Action News Jax. Workers at Finn McCool's also helped the other teen who was hit by a bullet during the Art Walk shooting. What they did to calm him down while waiting for paramedics and how you can participate in the Stop the Bleed workshop is on the Action News Jax mobile app.